What's up, D.A.? How you doing, buddy? I'm good. Can I get a beam up? You know it. <laughs> I really don't want to say this on the air. I think I might be in Chubbo Nation. Ten years old and you're already in Chubbo Nation. I think so. I'm not kidding, B.A. I'm not kidding. Am I allowed to go a little old school on you? A little crazy. I'm never dis- um, disrespecting it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa there, Mraz. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is Mo Gabba, a Baltimore super fan since birth, and while you can't tell on the radio, he has spent 75% of his life in hospitals battling a life-threatening malignant tumor of the retina. At the age of 10, Mo started calling in to the local sports networks in hopes of sharing his opinion and having fun while doing it. In Mo's limited time away from the hospital, he focused on two things, the Baltimore Orioles and the Baltimore Ravens. And when it was all said and done, Mo truly loves sports, and if there was one thing that he would ever do in his life, he would join his friends on the radio and talk ball all day long. Well, every day when I wake up in the morning, I always feel like I'm gonna achieve something that's pretty that's pretty cool. So I just think I just think positive. In the spring of 2019. Mo was gifted with a surprise of a lifetime when Ravens head coach John Harbaugh made the call to let him know that he would be announcing a day three draft pick in the NFL draft. Hey, all right. Coach Harbaugh on the flagship station Say of the Baltimore hi, Ravens. Hi. And uh, we have an announcement to make. We're, we're inviting Mo to announce our fourth round draft pick at our draft fest event at the Inner Harbor. What do you think about right? that, Mo? Really? Yeah. I had never done that before. You are going to announce the fourth round pick at the Draft Fest to the world at Ravens Draft Fest. What do you think? I, w- I like to do that. Yeah. Welcome back to Baltimore. We're live in the Arna Harbor for the next selection in the 2019 NFL Draft. And we're here to make some history. Mo Gabba is going to be the first person to ever announce a draft pick written in Braille. Mo, take it away. With the, oh, sorry. <laughs> With the 123rd pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Ben Powers, Oklahoma. Do you remember the first time you decided to pick up the phone and call 1057 to tell them about the Orioles and talk to them about sports? Um, I rem- I think I remember, I think it was like late 2015. Um, the reason I wanted to call in, I wanted to share my sports opinions and make predictions on what team would win like a game or something. And it's just ever ever since then it's been ama- it's, ever since then it's been amazing. Tell me about your first pitch. What can we expect? Are you going to get that ball right down the line over the plate? Try not to get the Yankee Yankee players to hit it. I'll try. I'll, 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 I'll tell you that. Try not to get the Yankee players to hit the ball. All I want them to do is get a strike. That start to open up kids opening day. I'm gonna throw out a strike. <laughs> And just like that, Mo is a sensation in Baltimore. Despite all of the pain that he's been through, he has kept a smile through everything. And what others looked at as disabilities, Mo looked at as possibilities. And anyone lucky enough to befriend someone like Mo would say that he is truly a spark. And I think just when the city needed it most, Mo was the spark. He provided it, and he lit the flame that would soon spread like a wildfire. You know, you know how much you're loved and how much, you know, people admire you that you don't even know. I look up to you. You're younger than me, and I look up to you and your strength. Thanks. Ray Lewis calling in. Ray was like, you and I are going to pray together. And they prayed on air. God is always available, and people like us are in this fight forever. God bless you all. Take care of Amen. A big mo. Amen. 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 Amen, baby. I love you, man. You take care Thanks. of yourself, okay? Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the Big Mo Show. I love you, Baltimore.
January 28th, 2020, the day that we lost Mo. In honor of Mo, July 28th has been named Mo Gaba Day, a day in which Baltimore lives positively, happily, and with the utmost strength and resilience. On the very first anniversary of Mo Gaba Day, one of Mo's dearest and truest friends, Trey Mancini, a former cancer survivor, stepped up to the plate with Mo's mom in attendance. That ball belted, no chance. This is staying in the park. Trey has done it again. That's six games in a row with an extra base hit. The home run derby never stops for Trey Mancini, and the O's are within one. There is Sunset Gabba. There's Mo's mom. We all know how close Trey and Mo were, and there's Mo blowing a kiss. Trey talking to her in the crowd after the home run. And look at how much mom is delighting in this moment. And here to right. Low will drip back. Low doesn't see it. Low lost the ball. Here comes Hayes. Trey's going to go to third. Trey's going to be waved home. Here comes Mancini. He is safe. 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 A fairy tale has come to life. Well, I can tell you this, if it's his last home at bat, it will be one he will never, ever forget. In 2023, the Baltimore Orioles finished with the best record in the MLB. Also in 2023, the Baltimore Ravens finished with the best record in the NFL. The wildfire has now officially spread. Moe's magic is here. And it's not a question of if, but when Baltimore gets its title. It's Alan Wallace from the 25. Alan Wallace breaks out of the tackle, takes it down the sideline, he stays in bounds, he stays on his feet, he takes it all the way, and it's the game!